Hey everybody, welcome back to our Speaking Arabic course. This is Lesson 2, and we're going to talk about occupations today. Before we begin, however, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell so that you can be notified every time I publish new videos in this series. Okay, the first word is teacher. In the masculine singular, when we're referring to one male teacher, it is ma'allim, ma'allim. And the number three is commonly used in Arabic transcription to represent the sound uh, uh. There's a letter in the Arabic language called ayn or ayn, depending on which dialect of Arabic you're speaking. And it makes kind of like a choking sound. But when it's written, it looks like our number three. And that's why Arabic teachers use the number three to represent uh, uh. So ma'allim. Malim, malim. The feminine singular form of the word teacher, however, is malme, malme. It's basically the same as the masculine singular form, but with a suffix added on. Malme. Now, a police officer, when referring to one male police officer, is zabit bulis, zabit bulis. Now, you'll notice that two of the letters here, the first Z and the final S, have a dot underneath them. This is because Arabic has some letters that we often refer to as emphatic letters. And you will hear when I say them that they have a slightly different sound from a regular Z or S. So, Z, Z, and S, S. Zabit bulis. Zabit bulis. Now, don't worry about this for right now, getting the exact sound down. We're going to work on that in future lessons. But for now, it's enough to understand that in Arabic, we have a regular Z and an emphatic Z and a regular S and an emphatic S. And when we have the emphatic letters, we generally represent them with a dot underneath. So one male police officer is Zabit Bulis, Zabit Bulis. All right, feminine singular for police officer is zabtet bulis, zabtet bulis. Doctor in the masculine singular is doctor or doctor, doctor. Notice the emphasis on the second syllable. The feminine singular form for doctor is doctora or doctora. An Arabic word for waiter is garçon, garçon which comes from French. Waitress is garçonne, garçonne, garçonne. Student, in the masculine singular form, is talib, talib. Notice again we have an emphatic letter here. The letter T has a dot underneath, and so that's going to have the emphatic sound to, to, talib. It has kind of a cloudy sound, we might say, talib. And the female form of student is tolbe, tolbe, tolbe. Lawyer in the masculine singular is muhami, muhami, muhami. This is an emphatic H that makes the h sound. It's heavy breathing, muhami. And the feminine singular form is muhamiye, muhamiye, muhamiye. Notice that a lot of the feminine words end with an E or an A vowel. I just want to point that out. I'll explain that in future lessons. We'll talk about why that's the case. But for now, just notice that a lot of the feminine forms end with an A or an E vowel. That is oftentimes a distinguishing feminine marker in the Arabic language. Journalist is Sahafi, Sahafi. Emphatic S, emphatic H, Sahafi, Sahafi. And the feminine singular form of journalist is Sahafiye, Sahafiye. Mechanic in the masculine singular is Mechaniki, Mechaniki, Mechaniki. And in the feminine singular form, it's Mechanikiye, Mechanikiye. Mikanikiye. A barber in the masculine singular form would be Halla, Halla, Halla. Notice that the Q is not pronounced. 
This is an interesting feature in Palestinian Arabic. Some people will pronounce this letter as qa, qa. Other people will pronounce it as a stop of the vowel, halla, halla, halla. So you hear how the vowel A stops when we have that Q. Again, we'll talk more about this in a future lesson. Now, a hairdresser, one way to say that is halla'a, halla'a. All right, now let's turn it around. What does the Arabic word sahafi mean? Sahafi. Sahafi means journalist when referring to one male. What does halla mean? Halla. Halla means barber in the masculine singular. Mikanikiye. 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 This is mechanic in the feminine singular. Muhamiye. 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 Lawyer, feminine singular. Talib, Talib, Talib. Student, masculine singular. Halla'a, Halla'a. Hairdresser, feminine singular. All right, now let's do some sentences. How would we say you are a waiter when referring to a male? I'll give you a few seconds to try to figure this one out. Inte garçon. Inte garçon. She is a journalist. She is a journalist. Hiye sahafiye. Hiye sahafiye. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. See if you can figure out the masculine and feminine forms. Anna ma'allim for males and Anna ma'alme for females. Anna ma'allim, Anna ma'alme. All right, now let's switch it up. I'll give you an Arabic sentence and you try to tell me what it means in English. Inte zabit bulis. Inte zabit bulis. You are a cop when referring to a male. Anna doctor or Anna doctora. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. Hiye talbe. Hiye talbe. She is a student. She is a student. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and if you have, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell below so that you can be notified when I publish new lessons. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Ma'aslami.